this year I've made the leap from desktop editing to iPad editing with Lightroom Mobile. Why would anybody want to do this? Well, it gets you away from the desk. It means that you can fit your editing in around your lifestyle, like I've edited on a plane, I've edited on the couch when the adverts are on, I've edited in bed. You know, if you want to go out of the house, it, it gives you a lot more freedom. Also with the pencil, the Apple Pencil, it's a heck of a lot more ergonomic. I do suffer from repetitive strain injury, which is why I have this mental keyboard. <laughs> but with the pencil, it's a heck of a lot more ergonomic. Also, culling. This is something that you may not be too familiar with unless you do massive jobs. But when you come home with 5,000 images, you're gonna want to cull the best ones down to whatever before you start editing. And it's a hell of a lot faster on iPad and so much more tactile, I love it. So with the benefits out of the way, and don't worry, if you sync things via Creative Cloud, which I'll show you how to do, you don't have to stick 5,000 images on your iPad, no. It's all done with magic. All you need is a computer, an iPad, and a Creative Cloud subscription for 9.99. Okay, so from start to finish, here is how I import and edit a typical wedding. So once you have your images loaded up, to make things easier for myself, I slap on my own custom preset, which is called the Everything Preset. Boom. Then what that does is it gives you a really good starting point. So when this is imported, you have a preset on. Sometimes the images are honestly ready at that point. Sometimes you obviously do need to tweak them, but it gives you unity throughout the gallery. So if, if they get photo books, etc., all the photos have the same sort of color grade. And then the next most important thing to do, do not forget to do this or it won't work, is to hit add to collection. iPad demo. And in here you've got sync with Lightroom. Okay, then hit import. This bit can take a fair few minutes, but once this is done, you are no longer tethered to your computer for the rest of the editing session. Totally worth the wait in my opinion. Now the collection that we've made is here and you can see with this button here, iPad demo, that's the folder that I just made. This icon here tells me that it's, it's, it's in the process of being sent to the cloud. So these ones are sent to the cloud and I can see them on iPad um, and the ones that aren't ticked are no longer on iPad. So this will take a hot minute. As I say, it needs to build the previews. And what this does is rather than editing the actual images, you are editing the smart previews. So this is 2,600-ish images and about 90 gigabytes of footage in the raw files. On the Lightroom mobile, because we're using the smart previews, it's, it's around four gig. So whichever model of iPad Pro you have, you can absolutely do this. Storage is not an issue. And if you save them locally, you don't have to be attached to the internet when you edit at all. As I say, I edited on a four hour plane journey and pretty much called and boxed off most of a wedding just on that flight. Anyway, so they're all synced on the cloud. We open Lightroom on the iPad and you'll see here we have um, all of the photos with the basic preset applied. You can see because it's all on the cloud that only certain ones are currently downloading uh, quickly. Uh, this is a separate wedding um, with the little blue thing here which means that I've downloaded it locally and as you can see they all just load without an issue and that's what we want because we want this experience to be fast. So what we need to do, final step, you tap the little three dots and press store locally, 4.5 gig. Okay, now, just while that downloads, I'm gonna play some Pokemon Shield. Now the images are stored locally, 
um, you can see with the blue icon here. Now we can just whiz through them without any lag, which is what we want. So let me just show you how quick and easy it is to cull images. Let's start with the couple of photos. So what we do is instead of going into the editing business, we click the star button at the bottom. Now there's two main ways to categorize your images. You have uh, your flag, so you have accepted, neutral and rejected, and then you have a star rating. So to choose the images that I want to edit, I'm just going to flag them all. And then when an image is final, I will five star it. And if it needs a little bit more work, like it needs a little bit of photoshopping on the main computer, I'll four star it, then I can filter it. But you'll see what I mean. So we look at that one and you can zoom in and I don't think that's entirely in focus. So up is flag, middle, rejected much better. Keep. Love the wide one. Keep. Don't need those. These were an amazing couple by the way. Absolutely loved them to bits. And can you just see how fast it is to cull? So fast. And you can see them being greyed out at the bottom as well. Bloody love that image. And let me just reiterate, these are not finished with the editing. I've just put on my everything preset, which is available on my website. And then from that point, you can tweak it and get it how you want it. I'm going through a proper phase of shooting through things. So I literally got in a bush at this point. And often <laughs> when you do that, you can make the couples laugh as well. Um, if there's leaves on the ground, get them in front of the lens. I'll go forwards a bit and we can get to some different images. Now, with this one, you can see stunning image. I shot through a branch. There was a branch and I actually sort of pulled it down and shot through it. Um, but because we didn't want to get her dress um, muddy, etc., we uh, put a little bit of a blanket down. So I'm going to four star that one for later when it comes into here and I can edit it. Spoiler, I've already edited it and that's what it looks like. Ta-da! Now let's get on to the editing. So, we've made our flags. In your, you choose the right folder. You go to the filter and choose selected. These are the ones that I've selected. You can also choose five star, four star, that'll be the one that I flagged before. And so we choose the flag ones. So if I'd have gone through the entire wedding at this point, there would be 700 images selected out of the 2000 and odd. And then in terms of editing, we go in and it's so, so similar to um, what we have on the desktop. And you can see the original and the edit. The original and the edit. And in this little part, oh, there's a tiny bit that needs photoshopping at the back. So I'm going to four star that one for future reference. Also, if you like what you've done with the first bit, you can make sure you're in your editing settings. Go to copy settings. Go away mother. Choose what you want to copy and then pop it onto the next one. So that worked out a little bit too bright in that instance. And then as you're culling and, and editing, you might think that you've got some that are a little bit too similar. So you can deselect the ones that you, you know, you have like a second opinion on. And then you can see from the original, that's where we are now. Super nice. This one, literally out of the camera, looked really nice. Just take away the shadows and make it a little bit warmer. Original, bang. In your effects, you can also add in a little vignette as well, if you like. Anyway, so imagine I've just edited my 700 photos. We just need to connect the iPad to the internet, wherever that may be. And then you make sure that everything is synced and backed up. And then from there, we can go back to the desktop. So I'm going to choose flagged. Imagine again, this was 700 images and not 10. And as you can see, all of the edits that we did 
are here. From here, we can also choose rated and choose four stars. And then you can see the ones that needed Photoshopping. And then from here, you can right click and edit in Photoshop. And then you can do any adjustments that you need quickly and easily on the desktop. Currently, there's no way to do this on the iPad and retain um, the information because Photoshop on the iPad at the moment won't actually open raw. Useless. So once you've made your adjustments, you can close that, save it, and then a duplicate will appear in Photoshop. So we choose the one that we want to keep and we can five star the one that we want to keep and put the other one to zero. Cool. I personally find the iPad screen for photo editing very accurate. It's a beautiful screen of joy, but it will be dependent on the light source where you are editing if you are out and about. So it's always a good idea when you're back in the computer just to double check your edits and make sure everything looks nice and it's all exposed how you want it to be exposed. Then you can literally just export as normal. So you would select the ones you want to export, press export, um, write the name, make sure it's maximum file quality and press export. Boom. Done. Exporting on the iPad at the moment, the maximum available is still not full res. So if you are doing something professional, it's always best to export on your desktop. Bit of a pain in the backside that you currently need two devices to do this, but what a time to be alive that you can edit a job in bed. I'm not complaining. <laughs> and then because there's only a finite amount of space, in your Creative Cloud. It comes with 20 gigabytes for the 9.99 version. Um, you can go back onto your iPad and delete that collection. I know that sounds scary, but you can delete that collection. The collection on your desktop will remain, and then you can just rinse and repeat. You don't have to keep using up your internal storage on your iPad. You can just delete it, and all of your edits will remain here where the physical files are. I hope that makes sense. So there we go. I hope you found that helpful and don't be afraid of editing on your iPad. I blooming love it. Yes, it's slightly time consuming to set it up in the first instance, but the idea of, of once that's all done and you can, once you know what you're doing, you can literally sort of come in after a job, get it importing and leave it going you know, leave it over overnight, though it doesn't take that long. Go and have your tea, <laughs> come back and it's all done and you're ready to rock. Any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching.